What's up guys, welcome back to another Tesla video. We got some pretty big news about the company from Wall Street once again, and Tesla just got their second $1,000 plus price target. I can't stress how important this is because the more of these hedge funds, research groups from Wall Street that give it a $1,000 plus price target, the more likely Tesla will go for it. Because a lot of these other banks and hedge funds are looking at each other. And apparently more and more of these guys are increasing price targets for Tesla. And you also have a few really bold guys giving it a $1,000 plus price target. And who knows, if Tesla shares keep rising, they will definitely hit $1 trillion, maybe even two or $3 trillion in the near future because they're consistently doing a lot of things in the clean energy climate change world. I can't stress how much money is in this department, but a lot of other companies are focusing on like smartphones, they're focusing on car manufacturing, they're focusing on autopilot, but if you go for like battery production, clean energy, anything in the climate change category, you could make like billions of dollars every single year from this. And Tesla just got their $1,000 plus price target from Argus Research. One of their analysts in there actually revised his price target to technically $1,010 and given it a buy rating. That's the specific price target it's giving, $1,010. And he has been held in the stock since July 24th, 2020. So it's a pretty long time hold and he wants to be holding for even longer. So it's been roughly six to seven months after he first bought Tesla. And even right now, the analyst from Argus Research is saying, yeah, I'm still holding the stock. I think the share prices will go above $1,000 and I'm very confident. The reason why is Tesla is a big leader in EVs. Right now, every single company is scrambling to make electric vehicles, whereas Tesla already has separate models. You want a budget sedan? Fine, we got the Model 3. You want a luxury vehicle? You got plenty to choose from. We got the Model X, we got the Model S, we got a Cybertruck, we got the Roadster, we got a lot of different things. Whatever you want, Tesla has a vehicle for it. If you want a crossover, they got the Model Y, etc. And there also is the upcoming Cybertruck offerings. This is big because that will increase sales. And there's also the Tesla semi truck. There's also rumors of a Tesla van, which is pretty interesting. Tesla has essentially gotten their goal of producing and delivering roughly half a million vehicles in 2020. This year, 2021, they want to be hitting 750,000 cars and maybe even 1 million vehicles for this year because that'll be pretty impressive. It's not about if Tesla could sell their cars. That's the main problem most individuals get. This is why a lot of car companies are constantly making car ads to get consumers to buy their vehicles. Tesla doesn't have to do this because they're such a good brand that people just want it. Once again, it's not about if they could sell the cars. It's about how fast they could keep up with the production for this demand which is a really, really good problem for Tesla to have. Essentially speaking, this $1,000 plus price target is because Tesla will be increasing their car production for this year. Also, there is the upcoming full self-driving beta, which is big. Musk wants to be achieving full autonomy this year. I can't stress how important that is because right now, no other car company has as good as an autopilot system as Tesla on the road. If you want something that could drive autonomously in the cities at this moment, the only vehicle you could purchase is a Tesla and you have to pay $10,000 for the autopilot. And guess what? People will gladly pay $10,000 for the autopilot. It sounds pretty expensive, but most individuals will do it. There's also different battery farms that Tesla is doing. They're striking multiple deals with different countries. There's upcoming gigafactories popping up. They're trying to sell a bunch of Model 3s at this current moment, quarter one of 2021 in India. So this year has some really positive catalysts coming up. A lot of other companies in the market for 2021, it's unclear what their catalysts are. Musk has already said multiple times, this, this, and this will be happening in 2021. You will be having the completion of the three gigafactories. You got the Berlin gigafactory. You do have the Shanghai gigafactory phase three, which is rumored to be producing a third new vehicle. Guess what? It could be the $25,000 hatchback, which is the cheap Tesla model. And lastly, the Austin Gigafactory will be finishing up. Tesla has so many plans and they also have so many different products coming out. They got the 4680 battery coming out. They are the only electric company with an electric semi-truck they could order. Sure, there are other companies making electric semi-trucks, 
but only Tesla has a really good one, and Tesla has a factory that's being built at this current moment to produce it. So essentially, Tesla has this massive market all to themselves, the electric semi-market. That's all for Tesla right now. No other company is making this. Sure, they are, but they don't have a factory. They don't have autopilot. They don't have enough battery cells or charging stations. And Tesla, their customer service is improving. People are liking the car company more and more. And I think a lot of individuals are purchasing Teslas over other vehicles. Lastly is the Model S and the Model X sales are spiking once again. If you guys haven't noticed, the Model S and the Model X are having some major refresh. In fact, I think the Model S, this brand new exterior design and this brand new interior design looks really incredible. And this is why so many individuals are buying in. I think we've been waiting for a very long time for some sort of a Tesla exterior refresh and we finally got it. Right now, the pricing is super expensive. Tesla started orders for the Model S and the Model X with around $70,000. Now the price is roughly $80,000. That's a $10,000 increase. And by the way, if those people who want to buy the Teslas want autopilot, that's another $10,000 added on. So you get the Model S, it's 80 grand, and then you plus the autopilot makes it 90 grand. If you want new wheels or different coloring or like a different interior, that's like another five, $6,000 adding onto it. That's almost a $100,000 vehicle. A lot of individuals are not happy about this. There's several sources familiar with Tesla cell operations. They're saying that sales are spiking because of the exterior design. I wish that Tesla would just keep the old pricing or maybe they're increasing the price right now and maybe towards like the summer or the end of the year, they may decrease the price by $3,000, $5,000. And by the way, the autopilot will most likely get more expensive as we go on because Tesla will be adding in more and more things. They are updating the software every five to 10 days. This is not cheap. And every time they announce an update, it costs Tesla a lot of money and they need to hire a bunch of employees they need to research the autopilot, make sure the software is good. So we could be seeing the autopilot increasing to perhaps $12,000 in the coming months because they're adding more things to it. But of course, if you guys have a lot of money and you really love the Tesla Model S look, I really do myself. I love the steering wheel. I love the exterior design. Then I guess you're gonna have to shell out almost $100,000 to get it with the autopilot and maybe a few upgrades here and there. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment below. How do you guys feel about Tesla's brand new $1,000 plus price target? This is the second Wall Street price target. And do you guys feel that Tesla's pricing for the new refresh vehicles is fair? Some people are saying it's not. It's too expensive. And not everyone can shell out 80 grand for the Model S. Thanks for watching.